Recently, I asked you if you already use Git for your projects and it looks like many of you do. That's great. For everyone else, in this video I will show how to create your own repository, how to save all of your changes and finally how to back up your code and easily share it with others. Let's go! Let's review how Git works. So first you create a repo on your computer. This will look like a normal folder where you can place files. Imagine that for our first version of the game we need to add this script and the image. If we would like to save this state, we need to commit those changes, which basically means that we will create a snapshot of the file structure with its appropriate name. Then time for the second beta version with some new files. What is great about version control is that even if I would modify one of the script files, Git won't store the whole file once more, but will save that this file has been modified on line 20. And again, then we can commit and take a snapshot of the entire file structure. But that's not all. If you will register your account on GitHub, you can move your repository to the web and back up all of your code at not extra cost. Let's do all of that. First, go to this website, download GitHub Desktop Client, install it and launch it. At start you will see this screen, but please click skip for now. Make sure that those details look correct and press finish. Then time create our first repository. Click create a new repository and call it however you like. Then two important steps. First choose a local path for this repo. You will select in which location GitHub Desktop will create its folder. And then, what is really important for Unity games, select Unity Git Ignore from this long list. That setting makes sure that only necessary files will be saved and any temporary files like library folder will be ignored. Everything here is ready, press create repository. Now if you open the selected location, you can see we have a new empty folder, just as I described it at the beginning. Let's start adding some files and by files I mean the whole Unity project. Using Unity Hub, I will create a new project in another random location. Before moving it to the repo folder, please select at the very top Edit, Project Settings and in the Version Control tab, make sure that the visible meta files is selected. That way Git will store all asset settings properly. Now close our project, select all of the project files and move them to the repository folder we've created a second ago. If we now go to the GitHub desktop client, you can see that Git automatically recognizes all file changes and suggests to commit them. As you can see, it wisely recognized all of the assets, like scenes and all of the project settings which are necessary for the project to run, but ignored the library folder which contains only temporary data and cache. But there is one thing wrong here. In my case, I also have this folder called the logs which is not really something we should keep track of. To make sure that this and any future files in the logs folder will be ignored, I will right click on it and select ignore all that log files. You can see that this list becomes much shorter. So now finally, time to create our first snapshot of this project. Simply here at the very bottom, describe your changes, I will type imported unity project and click commit to main. That's it. Now, when you go to this history tab, you can see two commits in total. Initial commit, auto-generated while creating this repository, and our imported Unity project with all the changes. That's great! Now, to show you how all of that works, let's make some changes in the project. Because Unity Hub might be a little bit confused about our project files migration, click this open button and browse for our repo folder manually. Now, create a new script. In this example, I will call it Game Manager, we won't open it for now. Then, in the default scene, I will create a new UI element and image. Save your scene. Now, if I go back to the GitHub desktop, you can see that both of those files have been noticed by the Git and are waiting to be committed. Notice that while Game Manager has a green icon, which suggests that this is a newly added file, our scene is yellow, that means it has been modified. I will now describe those changes as added game manager and an image and click commit to main. That way we have a great history of free commits. 
Ok, but all of that code is stored only on our computer. How about that free backup I mentioned before? For that, we'll use GitHub. The service allows us to store our repos online with the ability to send any new changes to the cloud and also download everything on a different computer. Let's set it up. At the top of our GitHub desktop, you might have noticed this Publish Repository button. Click it. You will be asked to log in to your GitHub profile. If you don't have one, simply register here using this fancy form. Remember that all of that is completely free. Ok, so after you registered or logged in, we can continue with the process of linking GitHub Desktop. Click Authorize. Now, if you will select Publish Repository once more, you should see this window. First, just name your repo. I suggest to keep the same name as you typed it before and decide if your code should be public or private. If you set it to private, only you will have access to it. But by setting it to public, you will allow everyone to see your code and help you develop some new exciting features. Click Publish and that's it. Now if you click this button or you go to the GitHub desktop, you should see your own repo updated. To show you that everything here is live, I will make one more change to the script file. I will commit it just as before and very important one more step, I will click push origin. That basically means that we will upload it to GitHub. If I go back to our page once more, you can see that there are some new changes noted one minute ago. Great. Ok, for the end, time for three very important topics regarding Git. So first, what if you already have a folder with your Unity project and you wouldn't like to move its contents to a new repo folder? There is a solution for that. In GitHub Desktop, simply press here and click Add Create New Repository. But this time, let's start with a local path. Choose a location that contains a folder with your existing project. So in this example, I'm choosing a path that contains my super game folder. Important, not the my super game folder itself. Then here you need to assign the same repository name as the name of your project. So in my case, my super game. Please remember that we are not allowed to use spaces here. Finally, don't forget about the Unity Git Ignore and press Create Repository. Now if you go into the History tab, you can see that all of the existing files have been added to the repo and you can freely click Publish Repository to keep everything backed up. Next, so imagine that you are currently working on something but are not satisfied with the results and you'd like to discard all changes since the last commit. All you need to do is to right-click on these changed files and select Discard All Changes. That way, Git will restore file structure since the last commit. Finally, if you are moving between two computers, you might be interested in how to download your code with a different machine. At start, simply log in using your existing account and then click Clone Repository from the Internet. If you are logged in, you should see all of your uploaded repos on this list. Simply select the one you are interested in, make sure that the local path sounds good to you and click Clone. That way, you will download all the project files and project history. If you'd like to make sure that all the files are updated, click this Fetch button that basically checks if there are any new files to download. And that's it! If you'd like to continue your Unity adventure, be sure to check out my other tutorials shown on the screen. As always, Thanks a lot to my awesome patrons that support this channel. See you soon!